there! Well, it is time for an empties video, and as always, I've sort of let my basket get overflowing here just a little bit, and I am going to be sharing beauty and lifestyle empties like I have done recently. You've all told me that you really enjoy seeing the household empties and whether or not I would repurchase these items for my home. So I've got a good combination of things in here, and let's just go ahead and get right to it. So the first thing that I have on top here is a fabric softener, and this is from Snuggle, and it's called Summer Showers, and it says that it's a new fragrance. I don't always use a fabric softener, but I decided to, and I saw this at my grocery store, and I wanted to try the fragrance, and when I kind of took the cap off at the store and smelled it, I absolutely loved it, and sometimes that fragrance doesn't always translate to the laundry, but this one really does. I've not gotten tired of this fragrance. I really love it. I love it so much that I finished off the softener, then I went and bought the dryer sheets, and once I'm done with the dryer sheets, I'll probably go back to the softener. I think the softener has a better smell that lasts a little bit longer that I like, but they're both really good. It has a very warm and fresh fragrance, so I do think the name Summer Showers is probably a pretty good description, but I just think it's the best softener I've ever used, and I can't get enough of the fragrance. I love the way all of our our linen smell our clothing and things like that so that was definitely a winner for me next I have the matrix biolage fiber strong this is the bamboo conditioner and I think I had finished the shampoo as well but right now I just have the conditioner I really like this line I haven't repurchased it I'm not currently using it but it is something I would keep in my rotation I think it made my hair really healthy it's probably time to actually do that again since I've been growing it out a little bit it needs a little bit of extra attention but this is a great line. I've really, really enjoyed it. And um, like I said, although I haven't purchased it right away, it is something that I will get again. Um, next, this is a very unexciting empty, but again, just sort of going with the household theme here that I've got going. This is my toilet bowl cleaner. So this is just from Lysol and it's got bleach in it. And so I always kind of like that for cleaning the toilet bowls, but I, honestly, there really isn't anything special about it. It works really well. I think I just typically buy what is ever on sale at the time that I happen to need it, but it works well enough. Um, next, I have another shampoo. I think I went through quite a few hair products in those empties. So this is the Purology Pure Volume Shampoo. I would not buy this again, and it's not really because of how the shampoo performed. It's because of the smell. I thought, for me, this is one of the worst smelling shampoos I ever used. And the conditioner, I actually liked the fragrance, but the shampoo to me smells like your great grandfather's cologne. I just could not get past that. Every time I used it, that's all I could smell was a really outdated cologne type of smell. Um, so no, I, I just can't, I won't purchase that again. But I do like the conditioner and it takes me a lot longer to go through conditioner, so I still have some of it and I'm using that up. Um, I probably won't buy it because I didn't think it was special, but in any case, the shampoo will not be coming back into my life. Uh, the next thing I have here are quite a few of the Trader Joe's cleansing towelettes. Um, you know that I just use these over and over again, and my mom gets them for me because she has a Trader Joe's near her home and I don't. So, but actually I just found out that we are going to be getting a Trader Joe's, I think toward the end of this year locally, so I am super excited about that. So I can finally get these myself, but I love these uh, wipes. They do a really good job. They're not irritating on my skin and they remove everything really well, so I buy those over and over. Next, I have a package of the Shiseido Facial Cottons. I always like these. I typically get them when Sephora has one of their sales, either in the spring or fall. And I think they're really nice because they're so gentle on the eyes. I've also been using a lot of the CVS cotton squares because I think they're very, very comparable. Uh, so I probably will be purchasing those. But if Sephora does have another sale and I just need something or I want something to add to my box, I would definitely get those again. Next up, I have the Redken Quick Dry 18. I talked about this, I think, in a favorites video not that long ago. So they reformulated this, and I really love it. It does have a stronger fragrance. I think if you're fragrance sensitive, this is probably going to be a little bit overwhelming for you. But I really love it. And to me, it still works as well as it always did. But I really like the better fragrance, and I already have backups of this. This is something I always keep on hand. So love that. Um, next I have, gosh, I do really have, I've been washing my hair quite a bit since my last empties. So I have a couple of Pantene empties here. This is the sheer volume line. So I've got both the shampoo and conditioner. 
I really like this and of course it's very affordable because it's Pantene. I think I found this both at Target and my grocery store. But what I really like about the sheer volume of shampoo is that it's a clear shampoo so it doesn't leave any sort of creamy residue on my hair. It doesn't have any extra moisturizer or anything like that in it. But that being said, it also doesn't dry my hair out or make it frizzy. I think it's just a really good formula. I like having these in my rotation. I think they smell really nice and like I said, very affordable and just do a good job. So next up I have the Comet um, Bleach, or com excuse me, Comet with Bleach Cleanser. You know, Comet's something I probably always have underneath the sink. I like having it on hand when he's got something that you really need to scrub out or like a stubborn stain in the bathtub or the shower or something, some grunge. But it's not my favorite. I really like the gel versions of these um, because sometimes the powder residue and this can be a little hard to rinse off, especially when it gets in grout lines and things. But it is kind of one of those standby products I've been purchasing for years and it's really inexpensive. So I probably would get it again, although it's probably not my favorite. Um, next up, I have the Nivea In Shower Body Lotion. This is for dry skin. My husband and I both really like this product. I don't know that I'm going to repurchase it right away. It's something that I like very much and I've used, but I'm really loving the Jergens Lotion I talked to you about my, in my recent favorites video. So I kind of just sort of switched over to doing the traditional lotion application, but I do like this. I like the fragrance of it. It's very easy to me because you do apply it in the shower and then just rinse it off and it, that moisture does stay with you throughout the day. But again, the Jergens is just a fragrance that I love and a formula that I love so much right now that I'm kind of sticking with that. Um, next up, I have a facial cleanser, and this is something I repurchased so many times. This is a Cetaphil Daily Facial Cleanser, and surprisingly enough, it's not what I'm using right now. I would repurchase this. I had absolutely no problems with it. I think it's a really great, very straightforward, simple cleanser. I just wanted to try something a little bit different, so I am using the CeraVe S. SA cleanser right now with a little bit of salicylic acid in it for summertime, but this is fantastic and I do recommend it. Okay, another thing I have here is the Neutrogena Oil-Free Eye Makeup Remover. I bought this quite a few times over the years. It's really good. I think, again, it's very affordable and just something that's nice to have on hand. And I think it does a pretty good job. My favorite eye makeup remover would be the Lancome, but I think this is a really close second and a lot easier to just pick up when you're out anywhere. Um, next I have the Clinique Foaming Sonic Facial Soap. I purchased this a couple times as well. This works really good with my um, Sonicare cleansing brush. It's got a very nice creamy formula. It literally takes about a pea size amount of this to really work into a nice lather all over your face. I'm not using it right now. I went back to an Olay cleanser just because I needed something. I was out and I was out for a few days and so I was at my grocery store and I just picked up this Olay one that I'd had good luck with in the past, but I would absolutely repurchase this. And I've actually seen this a couple times at my local TJ Maxx. So if you like to shop there and you're looking for this, I think it was maybe a couple dollars cheaper. It wasn't significantly less expensive, but it was a little bit less expensive. Um, I think this is my final household product. So this is the Scrubbing Bubbles Bathroom Cleaner. I think this is a really popular product. I've been using it forever. I just really like it. I think it's good for uh, cleansing bathrooms and showers and tubs and things like that. So this is sort of a standby for me. And if we go to Sam's or something, I'll buy this in a three pack. It's, you know, it doesn't really go bad and it gets used up for sure over time. So anyway, that is a good product that I will continue to buy. And next I have another lotion that I am not currently using, but I would repurchase. I talked about this quite a bit. This is the Aveeno Daily Moisturizing Lotion Sheer Hydration. I started using the Jergens that I mentioned just a little while ago or over the winter because I felt like I needed a little bit more hydration, just a little bit more moisture. But in the summertime, I think this would be enough. I'm using the Jergens because I have a really big bottle of it and I really like the fragrance of it. But if I needed to repurchase a lotion, I would get either one. This is a little bit lighter formula. It's not as hydrating. If your skin's very dry, this probably isn't going to be for you. 
but in the summertime, if you have more normal skin and you want a light hydration that really sinks in and leaves your skin feeling very normal and not greasy, this is a great option. Okay, I think we're getting down to mostly some beauty favorites here in the bottom. Actually, there's one non-beauty favorite, so let me go ahead and get that one out of the way. This is the fish oil that I've been taking for, I think, maybe a little over a year now, but I really like it. It's just not caused me any problems. It's very easy to take. This is the Nordic Naturals Ultimate Omega Mini. It has a strawberry flavor to it. If you drink enough water with it, you're not really going to have any problems with those burps or, or anything like that. And it's supposed to be the formula that you don't get the burps in any case. But I really like that this has that nice strawberry flavor to it. So if you do get a little bit of the burps from it, it's very, very pleasant. Um, and these are very small and easy to swallow. So it's really simple just to take it every day. And I like it and haven't had any problems with it. Next, I have the Clarisonic Sonic Radiance Skin Illuminating Cleanser. I got this when I purchased my Clarisonic Mia a while back, and it's not something I would repurchase. I think it worked well. It was very nice. I think it had a wonderful fragrance. I really like the smell of it. So I kind of ended up using this as a body cleanser, but I didn't think it was something that was special to me that I would want to go out and buy. Um, I think my, excuse me, I'm knocking things over here. I think my Clinique cleanser works really well, and so does the Alay one that I'm currently using so not a repurchase but if you do like the Clarisonic cleansers check out the fragrance of this one because I thought it was really really nice okay um, one of my all-time favorite makeup products and something that I've repurchased and I'm using I'm wearing it today this is the it cosmetic CC cream and this is in the shade light this is such a perfect product for me. I would never want to be without it. I love the SPF. I love the coverage. I love the um, brightness it gives to your skin. It just makes it look healthy. And I don't know, it's just such a great all-around cosmetic item. I will repurchase that for as long as they make it, I believe. Um, next I've got, this has not really been a new favorite mascara and it was something I just sort of tried on a whim, but this is the Maybelline Colossal Volume Express and I'm pretty sure this is in black, but the label is way too small for me to read. Um, but this is a great mascara. Um, I recently purchased it in the waterproof formula. I think I accidentally grabbed that one last time I bought it, but they're both really good. And I would say this is as close to the Maybelline Full and Soft as I've gotten in another variation of the Maybelline mascaras. And this version is the non-waterproof and it removes really easily, but I do get that nice lightweight feathery look to the lashes with this one. Similar to what I get with the Full and Soft, um, but in a formula, again, that's not waterproof, so it's a little bit easier to remove. Now, the waterproof formula of this, I would say, is almost identical to Full and Soft, but I think both of them, both the waterproof and non, work really well, so I would get either one, whatever was available. And speaking of the Full and Soft, I have one of those here as well. I keep both of these on hand when I don't buy the waterproof version of this, but I think they're both great. They're, you know, a really great price point, of course, and very easy to get and wonderful mascaras. Uh, next is actually not one of my empties. It's one of my husband's empties, but I wanted to show it to you because it's just a fragrance for him that I've always really liked. And we've repurchased this a couple times. It was discontinued and then they brought it back and I think it was discontinued again. And then we saw it again about a month ago. So I quick purchased it for him. This is the L'Occitane Verdun fragrance and it's got what they call an aquatic notes to it, which honestly, I don't know exactly what that means, but it's very fresh smelling and I really like it on him. And it's very light because he doesn't want something too heavy and this is almost more like a body mist than a heavy cologne so um, he doesn't wear it every day but probably more on occasions when we're going out to dinner or a nicer occasion but this is something that he's also liked over the years and I get really tired of fragrances over time and neither one of us have ever gotten tired of that so I will try to link to it down below if it is still available hopefully because I purchased it recently it is but anyway love that Next is the Mario Badescu Drying Lotion. I've bought this so many times. I love this stuff. If you can catch a blemish before it really gets going with this stuff, it does a fantastic job sort of nipping it in the bud. Um, next up, I have my Retin-A cream. I've got a whole video series on Retin-A, but I am using the 0.1% and I have been for at least two years now. I think I worked my way up slowly, but this is my empty tube of it and I've already gotten my new one and I love it. I use it probably every other night and then I use the Philosophy Renewed Hope in the Jar on the opposite nights. 
And then I've got, gosh, I've gone through so many of these and I keep buying it over and over for years now. This is Chorus Lip Butter in Jasmine. I end up using every last bit of this. I'm always really digging my finger there to make sure I get every little bit. I love this lip product and this and the Bite Agave Lip Mask are my all-time favorites for nighttime application. That's the only time I use them. And then I have a Dry Bar Bay Breeze Hydrating Shot. I've talked about this in favorites. This is a really good deep conditioner, but it doesn't weigh my hair down. It's not too much. It doesn't make it too heavy or limp. And one of my favorite smelling hair products that I've ever used. So these are a little pricier, but I think very worth it for as long as they last. I can get about four or five uses out of one of these little bottles. And I think they just really improve the condition of my hair and I really like the way that they work. I've got a couple of lip balms here. The first one is something that's no longer available, unfortunately, in this formulation. This is the Lip Sill Ultra Soothing. They still have the mint version, which isn't my favorite. I really don't like lip products with mint because while they feel good, they ultimately dry my lips out. But this Ultra Soothing is no longer available. I wish it was, but that was one of my favorite drugstore. I don't know why I call it over-the-counter lip balms, but I guess because you don't have to go to a specialty store to get them. But I always love that one. And then this is also a really good alternative. This is the Bioderma Moisturizing Stick, the Atoderm. And this has a little bit of a raspberry type fragrance, some sort of fruity uh, fragrance to it, but it is or was completely clear when I had some of it left. Um, I really, really liked it. I would repurchase it. I don't know that I'm going to. I'm using up a couple things right now. I've got a Clinique product that I'm trying to finish up. And I really wanted to try the, let's see, it's not it's not the Bite Agave Lip Mask, but Bite has the new Agave Lip Balm in the stick. So that's what I want to try next and just see if that's something I could use during the day or in my purse, something a little easier to apply. And then another all-time favorite product that I've used up is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder. This is in dim light, and I got down to where I had just a little bit around the edges, and then I really couldn't get it into my brush very well, so I went ahead and started using my new one. But this is my everyday setting powder. For me, it has just enough warmth where it's not exactly a bronzer, but it doesn't match my skin tone either, so it just gives my skin a little bit of warmth, and I don't have to be too careful about how I apply it. It blends in really well. It doesn't make a distinct difference between the shade of my face and my neck, but I do bring it down a little bit. But this is just something I've loved for a really long time, and I think that it works really well with the, let's see, the it Cosmetic CC Cream. This gives your skin such a nice radiance that I really don't want to take that away by adding too matte of a powder. So a lot of times what I will do is apply my CC cream, add a little bit of a mattifying powder just around my T-zone just to sort of keep that kind of shine free. But then I will put the Hourglass Dim Light everywhere else and it still allows my um, skin to sort of have a little bit of that healthier look I think than it would if I just sort of matted it out everywhere. And then my final product here is an eyeshadow, and I put it in this little baggie <laughs> so I could show you. This was from the Laura Mercier Artist Palette for Eyes. This is the shade Bamboo, and I did order another one. And it was very hard to find because I do believe this has been discontinued except for in the palette. So I had um, depotted all of these and made my own Z palette, but this was what was left. I really enjoyed it. Obviously, I liked it so much that I bought the full size. Um, I think I found that on Amazon. But it's what I'm wearing today. It's been my go-to summer color. I layer it with another color from the Laura Mercier palette. I will list what I'm wearing down below, but it's just a combination that I really love. I really like a very um, light, but warm, bronzy type of eye for summertime. I think it's just sort of a nice, go with everything type of look. So that is it. Those are all of my favorites this time around. I really hope you're all enjoying your summer as much as I am. I thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you very soon. Bye-bye.